Today on the church calendar is the feast of the conversion of the Apostle Paul. Uh, this was a pretty big moment in the early church. So much so that you know Paul is the only apostle that has a day set aside to commemorate his conversion. Paul's conversion was particularly a big deal because before he became an apostle in the church, he had been one of the fiercest persecutors of Christians in the area. We're first introduced to Paul in Acts chapter 8, and we're told that he was involved in the murder of uh, Stephen, the first Christian martyr. He was stoned to death by the people of Israel after having been falsely accused of blasphemy. Paul was on his way to Damascus to uh, round up whatever Christians he could find there and bring them back in chains to Jerusalem. So he wasn't only wanting to uh, you know, purge Israel of Christians, he wanted to find Christians outside of Israel and bring them to justice in Israel. It was on this trip that he was in camp, he uh, was struck down, this blinding brilliant light, and uh, the risen Christ appeared to him. And, uh, that changed the whole course of his life. Of course, after having met Christ, Paul understood that Jesus was in fact resurrected. And the central message of the Christians that Jesus had died on the cross and come back to life was in fact true. Um, I read somewhere recently that, interestingly enough, the book of Acts, which chronicles the spread of the gospel to the nations in the early, early days of the church, the word love is never mentioned in the Gospel of Acts, or I'm sorry, in the Book of Acts. Um, and that kind of little factoid might make you think that the message of love is missing in the Book of Acts. But that would be wrong because just because the word may not be mentioned, um, the concept is, is all over the book. And, and Paul's a supreme example because. Paul mentions this later in his epistles, how he considers himself the chief of sinners. Like he's very ashamed of, of the way that he conducted himself prior to knowing Christ. Uh, he never forgot what a persecutor of, of Christians he had been. And um, if God were being fair, then you know Jesus meeting Paul would have been the end of Paul's life. I mean, Jesus would have ended Paul for all the destruction Paul had done to the church. That's not what happened. And why didn't it happen? Why did Paul have the opportunity to go from being a persecutor of Christians to being an apostle? It was because God loved Paul. And the love that God had for Paul wasn't based on Paul. And Paul was keenly aware of this. God didn't love Paul and give him this opportunity to, to be redeemed of all of his past sins because Paul you know, had somehow qualified himself for such a, such a thing. This happened to Paul merely because God loved him. And God loved him before he was born. God loved him um, because, God, because God is love. And the love was based in God, not in Paul. And that was Paul's security moving forward. That Paul knew that God, the love that God initially had given him was not based on him. And so therefore, Paul could understand that the love that was going to sustain him and get him through was also... Um, love that was based in God, not in himself. And that's true for all of us. We might not have had a convergence story quite as dramatic as Paul, but if we have gone from being dead in our sins to being alive in Christ, it's because God loves us and has called us to himself. And he did that because of his pure and deserved love, not because of anything that, that we had in ourselves.